right, guys. So this is literally behind the scenes, right? You never see me with my curlers in my hair. This is Rosanna. This is the card. Okay, so Jacob Billa has been our intern, and he's going to be doing some interviews today. Uh, obviously, we all know Evan Hirsch. So um, this is what it's like. I just thought you could see the glimpse behind the curtain. All right? Uh, stay tuned. We'll be living it up right here with Jacob Billa. Okay, my friend. Have fun. Take it away. See you Thank later. You. Bye, guys. Welcome back. I'm Jacob Bila, content producer here at The Donna Drake Show, and I'm joined by our fashion correspondent, Evan Hirsch. Evan, how are you doing? I'm good. And Jacob, can I just say I'm so proud of you. I mean, we've, you know, had a friendship behind the scenes, but and we've had so many amazing conversations. So I'm so proud to see you shine. And I'm so proud to be on your debut guesting. I and appreciate it. This will be a conversation like many we've had, but only with a couple cameras. So That'd hey, be great. I'm glad I get to make my debut interviewing you. Oh, thank you. And we have a lot to talk about. You have this wedding dress collection actually coming out soon, right? Yes, definitely. I've had so many people, and there's no greater honor as a designer than someone who wants to wear your dress on probably the most special day in their life. So I've had so many people ask me to do wedding dresses for them or in my unique style of a two-in-one dress. Um, so I really wanted to try my hand at it. And I found that over, we've done a few bridal fashion week segments and things of that nature in New York Fashion Week. And New York Fashion Week is so much hustle and bustle and everyone's so busy, but still kind. But during bridal fashion week, everyone's so, you know, prompt to offer help and to give you advice and to welcome you into their brand and show you the ropes. So I thought that it would be a greater time than ever to try my hand at it with all the amazing help I've received. So tell us about some of the fashion trends uh, in the wedding dress collection that you're going to be working on. Well, it's very unique for something that I've done. And if anybody knows my looks, they're kind of a surprise. They're a reveal. I did a three-piece collection. This is one of them. This is the one I chose to showcase for now. I'm sure we'll put some footage of uh, other ones. But this is kind of like inspired by a Jean Battista Valli gown. He does a lot of the um, tool dresses. So I thought that would be a really great way to start. And then of course she pulls on it and it oh, turns wow. into a ball gown. So if you want a satin ball gown feel, this could be your two in one reveal. It'd be great for introducing the new happy couple and you walk in and do your surprise and your whole family's floored. So I really wanted to bring that into the bridal space because I feel like people want people want to change dresses, but it's a different situation if you could do it all at the same time. And what's behind this dress in particular? Well, I mean, it was a lot of looking at other designers' inspiration to see how they've incorporated bridal. I mean, bridal can be so many different things, which which I love. I mean, we're in 2022, about to be 2023, and brides are wearing, you know, different colors for their wedding. They're wearing red dresses, hints of blue, floral, like all different color flowers on their veils. And it, it really, bridal is about what's in your heart and not just about, you know, traditional values, which I really wanted to incorporate into my collection. And you have them going into two stores, you said, right? That was an amazing part of what I've done. I've I've been getting so much help from different stores. And uh, you want to know what a retailer has to think about your your designs. I mean, being creative is great, but if you can't sell and if you can't, you know, appease your customer, that is one of a huge parts of the bridal and fashion industry as a whole. So I actually got some help and advice from the bridal salon of Dix Hills and she really loved my dresses and she thought this was such a unique concept and she's willing to take, you know, the ride of being one of the first salons to carry a dress like this. So the bridal salon of Dix Hills and she also owns the bridal salon of Huntington. So she is excited to do that. And, um, I also received a lot of advice from Kleinfeld, which I've been going back and forth from. And um, one of my mentors at Virgin Bridal, who is co-designing my sister's wedding dress with wow. me, which is a big deal. Uh, he, Gustavo, who is the head designer, he has given me so much feedback. His trunk shows, I've been there with him to see his dresses in person. So it, it's, it's really a team effort and it's not just me behind it. It's so many amazing people with such great hearts. And when is your sister getting married, you said? In July, we're all so excited for her. I mean, it's the first wedding in our family, so it's gonna be a really big deal. I'm gonna be her MOH, which I guess is a, you know, kind of title similar to Maid of Honor. So I'm very excited for that. It's That's awesome. very untraditional, but we're all very excited for that. And I'm gonna be designing her dress, so. I was about to ask, are you gonna have a hand at least in the design of it? Yes, yeah, she tried on so many different dresses and she didn't like the top of this one and she didn't like the bottom of this one and she liked the skirt from one. So I said, why can't we just put it all together? You're and I designed. Out. Oh yeah, I, I took a napkin, designed the entire <laughs> dress and showed it to her and she said, that's what I want, so. And what's the inspiration behind that dress for? 
it really was just about what she wanted and making it into a cohesive dress. Something like she liked little elements and she's very indecisive. So she wanted something, you know, that she didn't even know what it was yet until she saw it in front of her. So I really created like a 3D visual of what she wanted on this mini mannequin. So this is the one that started it all. And she really liked what we had. So I went to Gustavo at Verdon Bridal and he's going to help. And is there any holiday trends for the holidays that you're working on in the fashion space? Well, I do my holiday collection, which is good. I'm now working on bridal, and I also do a spring-summer collection, fall-winter. I wanted to do a collection where your coat could turn into your skirt, but that's been quite the engineering, you know, kind of endeavor. So I'm working on that still. But I found that in the fashion industry as a whole, a lot of people are moving to a more sustainable world, and people want to save the earth, so they want to rewear some of their older clothes. I mean... Fashion is all about the newest and the biggest in the next season, but it's good to reference, you know, the older kind of styles and bring them back in a new way. Good stuff. I can't wait to see all of it. Of course. Well, I'm glad I got to share it with you and the entire family here. I'm glad I got to share my debut with you talking about it. Oh, Absolutely. Thank you so much. That was Evan Hirsch, our fashion correspondent, and we have more coming up after this.